Hello and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Blessings for you right now. I hope you all are doing well. There are four different piles in front of you. The first pile has a lamp on it if you're drawn to the lamp. The second pile next to it has a sewing machine. The third pile right here is the violin. And the fourth pile, the toolbox. The lamp, the sewing machine, the violin, and the toolbox. Feel free to listen to more than one message. Trust your intuition. If you need more time, just hit the pause button. And we're gonna get started here once I move these with the lamp. I appreciate all of your love and support on my channel. Okay, a little trickier to move here, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna start with the lamp. So if you pick the lamp, I feel like there, with the turquoise energy, there's some kind of connection to the Native American Indians and in you and turquoise and something about turquoise being very healing for you. Also, this is like an aha moment is coming. It already came and it could be coming from the ancient aliens because I kept ET out here on this display. So some kind of aha moment, clarity, bright idea, really connecting to your inner light, shining bright, using your imagination. Something about that illumination, coming out of the dark into the light really plugging in to your higher self, your spiritual body. And the blessings coming your way is victory. Yeah, look at that. Happy and grateful manifestation of your dreams, whatever you've been working on, victory and success in your career, victory in your love life, victory in your health, victory in your finances, victory in your family, winning a game, a competition, whatever this is, you are victorious. And there's your big, beautiful cup filled with love filled to the rim, leaving, leaving room for even more beautiful things to put in there, right? And you're manifesting with this 35 energy, personal power, stepping into your power, being an eight, communication, travel, just really opening up, being blessed. Victory. And the fairies want you to believe in magic. So magic is coming into your life. You are magic. You're being blessed right now, activated to higher levels, finding a lot of success. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around you in nature. The fairy of the Northern Lights says you are a part of nature, so you are magical too. Yeah, connecting with Mother Earth is really going to help restore you, keep you balanced and grounded. Northern Lights always makes me feel like follow the North Star home, your destiny. You're being led by the stars, your star family. It's a magical time for you opening up. And I feel this is you opening up to the magic of life, the beauty of life, the magic and beauty that is you. And recognition. Yeah, you're being recognized. You're getting a promotion. You're getting that job. That lover is recognizing you. You're being recognized by others uh, for how successful you are. And they're, they're seeing you in this victory, happiness, joy, energy. And spirits recognizing you, recognizing how hard you worked and blessing you. And this is also can be you recognizing the potential of a situation of yourself. Okay, so we'll move these over just a little here. Okay, and then the tarot that came out, we're just going to get them all out just to see what your messages are, what you're being blessed with. So this is the five of cups, okay? And then, she, you know, the, the feminine has the two of cups on her platter and the masculine's kind of got his head down, you know, on the table. And then we have this seven of pentacles energy, the masculine writing down a plan, refocusing. This could be you, feminines too. Pausing, reflecting, paying attention to the details, these bright ideas. Uh, now that you've found the success and abundance and you've moved out of this wallowing energy, realizing your power, how worthy you are, it's like now you're, you know, sort of uh, 
shifting gears, so to speak, taking a little pause. Yep. And then it's that eight energy, that forward movement, communication, travel with the eight of wands. Yeah. Traveling the world, communicating your ideas on fire. And it just so happens to be two of these wands are on fire. So eternal flames, twin flames, love, two people coming together and moving forward together. I don't, wow, never noticed that in that card. I don't feel like I have. And look at that, six of wands, victory. And look at, it's the magic. Do you see that? All the magic of the universe resides within you. And there's the wand and there's another wand. Okay, and another one. So this is like spirit saying, we have caught your back here. You're being recognized. There's magic all around you. Golden opportunities, freedom, success. There's that victory, success. That's what this is. Celebrations. Traveling with the horse and the eight of wands. You could be traveling and, and traveling out of this energy. The wallowing, the regrets, the resentments, the coulda, shoulda, wouldas, and, you know, feeling, someone's feeling sorry for themselves, and it's like the feminine's like, okay, I'm right here with these two cups, if you just open your eyes, and I feel like the masculine within you, feminines, right, we all have uh, masculine and feminine energies, but the masculine within you, or could be a masculine in your life, is finally waking up, taking charge of their health, refocusing, writing out a plan, paying attention to the details, and then they're like, moving towards victory, going to communicate with you, moving on. Like, that's what I feel like. No matter what, you're moving on to victory. Because the masculine within you needs to rise up and take action, pay attention to things, and get moving and communicate clearly and, you, and allow yourself to receive this success and this victory and this balance and these blessings. Believe in the magic that you are. And your um, fortune cookie cards are signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Let me repeat that. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Look, forward movement, positive direction. Any doubts, which would be this card, right? The five of cups. And confusions will soon disappear. Wow. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. And that could be what you're focused on. You're going to invest your money somewhere. You're going to change your career. You're refocusing. There's a new skill you're learning. So you're putting in the effort, really stepping into your power. And it's a really, truly magical and successful time for you. Trust your intuition. The signs are everywhere. Spirit is guiding you. And if you haven't already, uh, haven't already, yet is what i meant to say received this light bulb moment this illumination it's coming and it's beautiful i hope you enjoyed those messages feel free to listen to another pile if you desire and we are gonna move on to the sewing machine if you pick the sewing machine see this ancient alien energy behind you your ancestors the masters are with you helping you mend your wounds, mend things with others, a creative project that you've been working on or this idea that you have is really coming together and spirits helping you has got your back here, helping bring it all home. Really focused on your work, whatever you're creating and healing. I feel a lot of healing with the sewing machine, like mending yourself together, mending bridges and more to your blessings right now is Prosperity, look at that. Look at that money, that opportunity. Expansion, growth, and I just felt like something coming together. It's all coming together. Collaboration, three energy, the ascended masters, that energy coming forward for you. You're really going to expand and grow during this time period. It's a prosperous time. It's a fertile time for you. And you know, it reminds me of the fall season, right? A cornucopia of blessings coming your way. If you are here where I'm at and it's summer right now when you're listening or whenever you're listening to this, it's something about fall. When the leaves fall, when the leaves turn color, there is something that either happened in the fall, this idea, and it's finally coming into fruition now, or something's really going to change soon. 
and the blessings coming in. Maybe you're creating something for fall that has to do with fall, clothing, decor, Halloween stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's something that's going to be very prosperous for you, whatever this is. You're putting something together, you're sewing something together. Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Yeah, and again, the three energy. Do you see that? The power of three like-minded people surround yourself are be you know with people that are prosperous and abundant and happy and grateful creative expansive teaming up collaborating doing a project together and just really blossoming and blooming in your friendships feeling very supported and if people aren't supporting you and they you know, are in a different kind of vibration, then it may be time for you to open up to maybe new people coming in so that you can feel that support because you deserve it. Yeah, you have an inner knowing here of what direction to go. Your intuition is really strong. You're being blessed with a strong in intuition. So follow that, follow your heart. Your emotional body is leading you right now. You're growing in wisdom. And, it's, and what Spirit wants to say is you'll know if the people coming into your life are good for you or they may deplete you of energy, you'll know by the way that you feel. So trust yourself there. Trust that you deserve this prosperity and abundance and this good health and good fortune and you deserve support. And I feel like you know who these people are or you know you can feel the energy of unconditional love coming your way. So celebrate that, expand, grow. The tarot that came out for you is the five of pentacles. Like this is moving on, moving out of that poverty mindset into prosperity. You see how that's working out of the cold. You were left in the cold. Perhaps some friendships broke up. Something didn't work out in your job, but now you're moving on and things are changing because fives are about change. It is about self-imposed entrapment and taking your power back. You know deep inside of you what you need to do. You know that you may be keeping yourself trapped in thoughts in the past, negativity, fears, the lower vibrations, the false realities, right? And something about the past, something that didn't work out, regrets of the past, and it keeps you stuck. So you're being blessed with the clarity by closing your physical eyes, going within, trusting this deep inner knowing that you have the power to set yourself free. So this is you taking your power back during this time. Let's go. You may have a child. Um, this can signify your inner child, like taking your inner child with you, really stepping into your power and taking charge with the King of Wands energy. Yeah, taking charge, making decisions. You have the power and control over what you do, what you decide, what you think of, how you react, how you communicate, the people you hang out with and surround yourself with. Nobody else has that power and control over you. And this is you st really stepping into your powers. I felt with that Eight of Swords and uh, going after your dreams. And it's a prosperous time. Mastering your spiritual world. A lot of creative energy moving through you. And there it is, the three again. Three, 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 collaboration. And look at this, that's like you, okay? Reach out to me for a card reading, please. Or maybe perhaps this card reading is giving you the clarity. It's like you know who the right people are to collaborate with. You know who the right people are to bring into your world. Trust that. You've grown a lot. Sure, things didn't work out in the past. I've been there too. I understand that. I've tried to collaborate with a couple different groups of people and it just didn't work out. And now I finally feel like I'm being surrounded by like-minded people that I, I can trust, that are, are like me, that really want to reach goals. I'm helping them. They're helping me. I, it's just a beautiful thing. I feel like that's coming in for you. This divine collaboration. It's like... Trust your psychic intuition on this, okay? And this can be signifying just the way the energy is that there is this masculine coming in, giving you this opportunity. Well, why don't you come work for me? Why don't you come collaborate with me? Why don't you do this project with me? I have a good plan. And I've got this other person here that I feel like you're really gonna get along with, you know, these friendships that it's really gonna be a good m match, a good mix. Right. This is a really intelligent king, creative, has the plan, it's mapped out, and you're like trusting your intuition here. 
Okay. Yeah. And the ascended masters are with you, helping you change things in the material world. Things are really um, looking more positive for you. I feel like it's been challenging and you're taking your power back, surrounding yourself with good, empowering, beautiful people. And it's a prosperous time for you. This collaboration, this idea, this new job, whatever this is, is very prosperous. Trust that. And look at this, come on, positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. You're gonna be able to make a major purchase, a new business, a new home, a car, whatever this is, you're gonna be able to do it. And it's, look, it's prosperous. And opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dressed to impress. Holy crap, you guys. That's everything that I, I swear everything I just said. Like someone's coming to offer you something, be prepared, dress to impress. When you're going out and about, dress to impress. When you're going on that interview or just meeting people, positive work outcomes and opportunities coming your way. Wow. Trust your intuition. This is amazing. Yes, claim it. I hope you enjoyed these messages. I'm going to um, clean up the sewing machine. And we are going to move to the violin. If you pick the violin, what I feel with this cute little violin is that you're, you, you really resonate with music. Spirit is speaking to you through music via the sound waves. Uh, you play music. You, it's, spirit's encouraging you. If you play an instrument and you haven't played in a while, pick it up and start playing it. It's really going to help you tap into that creative energy. And I also feel like love and like someone's going to serenade you or you're very romantic. Someone coming in or someone in your life is very romantic, writing you a song, singing you a song. Your sacred lover speaks to you through song telepathically. I mean, trust that. I'll put this here. Let's just set this down. I really like the violin. Let's try to set it up. There we go. <laughs> okay. So the blessings coming your way. What is spirit singing to you? What are the, what's happening? Oh my goodness, abundance. Yes, balance coming in with the two energy, new paths opening, filling your own cup, enjoying the pleasures of life. Brand new beginnings with that, you know, it's kind of new moon. And look, there's money here. Yeah, multiplying your money, doubling up. But there's a lot of abundance uh, on all levels coming your way in love, in luck, in money, opportunities, spiritual growth, emotional healing. I mean, it's all there. Mental clarity. See the clouds kind of being cleared. Wow, you're being blessed with abundance. And stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Connecting with the stars, connecting with the universe, flowing with life, mental focus, clarity, just like I felt. Your star family, your ancestors are with you, guiding you. And to me, this feels like spirits encouraging you to take a little time out and it looks like at night, would be a good time for you to spend some time with yourself doing something you love. If you like stargazing, just sitting outside, having a cup of tea, connecting with the divine feminine moon. It's really going to bring you that clarity that you're looking for and that healing. Memories. Okay. So it's, I feel that you're, you're remembering your, who you are, like, your connection to the stars, to the universe, to all that is. And something about something being revealed about your current situation, something about memories, you could be reminiscing, uh, perhaps stuck in the memories, maybe looking at the pictures of someone and, and just kind of feeling the sentimental feeling. Looks like photos, looking at photos of the past. And that's why I feel like it's really important that you go within and allow yourself to heal if that's what you need to do. Healing's coming your way. And with this starfish energy, dreams are coming true, wishes are coming true, abundance is coming true, and you deserve it. It's like I feel like you're being blessed with this clarity of worthiness, of knowing that you're worthy 
and that you deserve love and that you deserve abundance. And with that pink energy, with the abundance card, you're really opening up your heart chakra and loving yourself. I, yeah, it's beautiful. Now what tarot came out for you is the wheel of fortune. Yeah, your destiny, a new cycle. Good luck. Luck is on your side, there is no doubt. I feel like you're reflecting now on like what you've learned, like how far you've come, all the challenges and contrasts you've been through. And it's like, finally you have arrived. Yeah, with the higher mind perspective, see that confusion, there's clarity, there's healing. That's that higher mind perspective. I feel that if you pick this pile, you've been stuck in some kind of cycle. And it's like, you were kind of stuck on that wheel and it just kept turning maybe backwards, learning the lessons, you needing to release and heal and all these beautiful things. And you're finally getting the clarity you need to get this wheel turning forward. Yes, victory here, see? Success, victory, I'm happy, I'm with like-minded people now, I'm no longer in toxic situations, we're gonna work as a team, I'm taking the lead. I'm getting out of this drama and this gossip and this confusion. I mean, with that higher mind perspective, see, then you're moving forward, getting out, socializing. This can be a socializing card too, but really feeling good and in your power. And look at that balance, temperance, tempering your energies, healing, restoration, reconciliation. This is my card of twin flame soulmate divine partner union it's your destiny you could be dreaming about this lover if this lover isn't here and you're like you're having memories of someone that you haven't even met yet well that's your truth trust that there's a new cycle for you and your and your lover and for and especially for you this is balance of your own energies i mean it's a lot of healing happening right now and if we're talking about masculine, feminine, I feel like the masculine within you, your masculine energy or your sacred masculine, however you're looking at this, it's like the feminine is really thinking about the masculine and is really thinking about these memories and, and feeling into love. This always makes me feel like cup energies, like memories, love, looking at pictures. And the masculine has been sort of stuck in the cycle, right? And, and is getting that higher mind perspective, finding victory, changing things and coming forward to this beautiful, gorgeous angel of a divine feminine. Like I found my victory. I wanna change things. Let's go out. Let's get together. You could be getting an invitation from someone. But for you and only you, this is taking the time to allow yourself to receive, to heal, and then stepping into your masculine energy and taking charge, changing things, and you're moving into a more balanced cycle. And you got two messages here, sexuality and love. And I knew it. I felt it with the guitar. I felt it with the romance that, you know, all of that. The, 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 this is about love. If any pile that I've done so far, this is the third one. This one is definitely about love. First and foremost, loving yourself, healing your own sexuality, your, you know, healing yourself and then sharing it with a lover. So love, love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Existing relationships could find new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and a good family life are strong, but if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. So if it's someone from your past that's not good, that's in the toxic energy, that's not what you're going for, right? It's a balanced energy. It's higher mind energy. It's loving, open, connective energy, okay? And a child will also bring great joy. So if you find out you're pregnant, it's going to bring you great joy or someone's having a child and that can be nurturing your inner child as well. But there is a sacred sexual union and, and the fact that this card came out and that's my twin flame soulmate divine partner recognition card, absolutely. Or a re-spark in the connection that you have. I hope that you enjoyed these. I am going to clean up the violin and we're gonna to move to the toolbox. If you chose the toolbox here, 
you have everything you need. You are the magician. Whatever project you've been working on, whatever you've been hammering out, right, and cutting away what's not serving you and really working out the details, um, it's all working out. It's all coming together. You have everything you need. You've grown in wisdom. You've learned the lessons. You are the magician. You're ready now. You have everything you need to move forward. You're building something, building a strong foundation here, root chakra energy, earth energy coming forward. Spirit's giving you everything you need to manifest your dreams. So what are your blessings? What magic is happening in your life if you pick the toolbox? Confidence. You're being blessed with confidence. Opening your heart with this green heart chakra energy. Changing things by going within and loving yourself and really growing. Stepping into your power, knowing your worth. 32 is a five, so things are changing. Bless changes. There's abundance coming and feeling really good about yourself and confident in the way you look and what you're doing and confident in love with this green energy. So confidence being restored. And the inner child, how beautiful. Look how cute this card is. Just really finding happiness and joy, either playing with your children or having a child, you nurturing yourself. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Yeah, and this green energy is that heart chakra energy. Really opening your heart, doing something silly and fun, but staying safe, of course, you know. <clears throat> it's important that you play and take a lighthearted approach to life. Because I feel like you've been, if you pick this pile, you've been working really hard on yourself. You've been working really hard on your relationships, on your money, on your job. And, you're, and you really need to take time to play and nurture yourself and enjoy this growth. Yeah, relaxation. Relax. Meditate. Find your peace. Do something that makes you happy. A creative project. Getting out in nature. Just, it's relaxing. Times are coming. You're being blessed with peace. And it's important to take time to relax. If you pick this pile, this is your tarot. We have the moon. So the moon can signify fears, confusion, illusion, right? But I don't see that and I don't feel that with any of this energy. What I feel is you've been in the fear and the illusions and you're having clarity now. The path is being illuminated. Your intuition is strong and on point. You're independent and free and loyalty with the dog coming in, the independence and the magic with the cat. And then you got this crab energy, right? Home and family, cancer, home and family. Things being restored. Trust your intuition here. Things are being revealed when you go within. Look at that, wish fulfillment. Opening up to the, these opportunities, feeling confident in your business idea, in yourself. Just happiness. If you're opening your own business, it's gonna be successful. Create a project successful, personal dreams coming true, healing your inner child, relaxing, fun time, celebrating with others with that nine of cups. And the high priestess, yeah. Your intuition is growing, you're being blessed. The moon and the high priestess, the feminine, and then the feminine opening up is a lot of feminine energy. So no, no matter if you're a man or a woman, this the feminine energy within you is really evolving and opening up. And that's your receptive energy your intuition that creativity that fertility trust this your intuition strong you may be a card reader a psychic or reaching out to one reach out to me we can we can uh, have some fun here but this is you trusting your intuition things are being revealed see with that moon i felt and it's like it's just it's gonna set you free it's like liberating and you're like yeah that's it <laughs> And then there's this focus in the material world. You're co being confident in your work. You've been putting a lot of work into the material world, into a creative project, into yourself. And it's like you paying attention to the details, manifesting money, manifesting opportunity, really putting in the work here. And that's why I feel like with the toolbox, yeah, you've really been putting in the work and your dreams and wishes are coming true. And then you just keep, keep putting in the work, right? But enjoy yourself at the same time. If it's all work and no play, that's no fun. So I feel like this Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups, it's like maybe perhaps the masculine within you is like work, work, work. And the feminine's like, but I just want to have fun. And this can be your masculine workaholic focus in the material world. And this is you, the feminine, saying, come on, let's have some fun. 
you know, let's relax together to find that balance. The two fortune cards that came out for you are major life change and sunshine. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Yeah. I mean, that's that relaxation. I mean, wow, beautiful. And sunshine. The sun is shining on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. I mean, wow, that's amazing. The sun is shining in, happiness, joy, major life change, wishes coming true, manifestation, confidence, success. I mean, wow. I'm wishing you all so many blessings. I appreciate you all.